Hundreds of people across the United States are traveling to Sumter this weekend for the 50th World Invitational Double Dutch Championship. And teams of all ages have qualified for their state championships, but now they are going up against the best of the best. News 19 Sam Perez was there to jump in on all the fun. It's just really cool coming out and seeing so many teams from so many different places. Relation Nicole Benson coaches the Double Dutch Rope Twisters. They traveled from Cincinnati to compete in the World Invitational Double Dutch Championship, which is being held in Sumter this year. Well, all the teams here had to qualify in their states. So you have teams from Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Ohio, North Carolina, and South Carolina. 56 teams are participating this year, which marks the 50th anniversary. First one in 1975 was at Lincoln Center. It was there for a couple of years, and then it bounced around to different, you know, different states. And then when we came here, it was kind of like home. Jumpers like Camila Steele, who are calling the Midlands home for the next few days, are showing off their skills. Personally, it's like when you get on there, it's just a thrill. It's like very stressful, but once you get in a rope and you start turning and you just get there, it's like you know how to do this. Gwen Maristani, whose family is from Sumter, helped found the American Double Dutch League. She tells me she's excited to see the familiar city host this tournament. We used our background to um, just put together some ideas and some boundaries that we wanted to use in a new sport, really, that had not been organized past just jumping in the street. Maristani worked alongside fellow physical education teacher Cheryl Holt and other board members to draft a rule book and form the sport, inspired by elements of track and field, dance and gymnastics. When we look at the 50 years, we look at who's here and remember them as children when they were jumping and now they have their own teams, their coaches. So it's come, it really evolved into a for Street Squad Sumter, Sam Perez, News 19, WLTX. All right, I know we got your attention now. So if you want to go out and watch that tournament, it is Saturday at the Sumter County Civic Center. It's 9 to 3, and it's free for anybody to go and watch and see the jumpers in action and also cheer them on.